This is a simple guide to installing the ProWarm Underwood heating system. This video does not replace the installation manual, so before you begin, ensure you have read the documentation in your ProWarm pack. Before you begin, calculate the area where you want to install the heating to ensure you order the correct size heating mats. Carefully calculate the floor area excluding furniture and fittings. Once the heating area has been calculated, or if you have plans for your project, contact us for a free quotation on 01268 567 019, or you can email them to sales at prowarm.com. Alternatively, you can send them by post. In your ProWarm Underwood heating pack, you'll find the aluminium heating mat, a thermostat complete with floor sensor, a length of conduit, a roll of duct tape and the installation manual. You will also need to have the following available before starting the installation. A digital multimeter, a measuring tape, a pair of scissors for cutting the foil matting, a hammer and chisel and also a permanent marker or pencil. Be sure to prepare your subfloor to British Standard Guidelines. If you need advice on this, then please call our Technical Advice Centre. You must ensure your floor is free from dust and debris. Also remove any protruding staples, nails or screws as these can damage the aluminium heating mat. At this stage, you can install the ProWarm XPS Premium Boards or the ProWarm XPS Standard Boards. Before installation, ensure the floor surface is clean, dry and free from dust. Unlike our other insulation boards, you're not required to prime the floor before installing the ProWarm XPS Standard Insulation Boards. Our ProWarm XPS standard insulation boards are suitable only for use with our aluminium-backed Underwood heating system. These XPS standard boards do not get stuck down to the floor. Simply lay the boards together in a brick-like fashion and stick together using the ProWarm duct tape supplied in the installation kit. Boards can easily be cut to the exact shape that is required for fixtures already in place or for renovations. Once the ProWarm XPS standard boards are in place and sealed with ProWarm duct tape, the aluminium foil-backed heating mat can be laid straight on top. If you are still uncertain of any part of the installation process, then please call our Technical Support Centre for advice. With your insulation boards installed, ensure the floor surface is smooth and free from dust and debris. ProWarm Underwood heating mats must not be laid under permanent fixtures like electrical appliances, cabinets, baths or toilets. Using a marker or pencil, identify the areas where units and fixtures will be fitted. Double check your measurements to ensure that your plan has the correct room dimensions. Before continuing, you need to test your Underwood mat system using a digital multimeter. It's important to test the system before, during and after installation. Record your reading at each stage of the installation on the guarantee certificate. Check the installation manual for more details. The power cable should be at the location closest to the thermostat. Do not fix or cut the mat yet. If you are installing two or more heating mats, you must make sure that the power cables are no more than two meters from the thermostat position. If they are more than two meters from the thermostat, then please call our advice center to find out about suitable junction box locations. The Underwood heating mats should have a 5mm gap between each other and must never overlap. Remember, do not cut the heating mat short. 
ProWarm's Underwood matting system can be cut and modified to fit a specific area. Never cut the heating wire and take care not to damage the heating cable. The matting should be fixed in place using tape to prevent them from shifting over time. In addition to this, use the metal adhesive tape supplied in your kit to bridge between the aluminium foil mats to continue the earth continuity. This is very important. Whenever the mat has been cut and turned, it must have a strip of foil tape placed over it. The floor heating mat should be between 50 and 100 millimeters from the wall perimeter. Do not lay the heating system under furniture, fixtures, baths or toilets. And never cut or cross the wires. Do not shorten the pro-warm heating system. Each mat is designed to produce a specific amount of heat. At this stage, you must perform another multimeter test to check that the heater has not been damaged during installation. Make a note of the multimeter reading on your ProWarm Guarantee Certificate. If the reading has changed, call ProWarm immediately and do not continue with the installation. With the installation and testing of the heating mat completed, you are now ready to install the floor sensor and connect it to the thermostat. The ProWarm underfloor heating system must be wired via a residual current device, or RCD. All electrical installation work must be carried out by a certified electrician. The floor sensor measures the actual temperature of the floor, giving you complete control of the system. Place the floor sensor into the supplied black conduit before fixing in place. Enable the floor sensor to sit flush with the floor by carving a short channel into the subfloor using the chisel. Make sure the floor sensor is pushed to the end of the conduit. The conduit makes it easy to remove the floor sensor should you ever need to replace it. The floor sensor should extend at least 300 millimeters into the heated floor area and then be taped down. The floor sensor should be situated evenly between two of the heating wires, making sure not to cross them. In addition to the channel carved for the floor sensor, you may also need to remove a section of insulation board to allow the point at which the power cable meets the heating mat to sit flush, as this may cause a spot of increased wear on the laminate flooring and potentially damage the heating mat. Conduct another test on your heating system using the multimeter. Make a note of the reading on your guarantee certificate. If you have any questions at this point, then please call our technical support team on 01268 567 019. Underwood heating systems are designed to sit directly on top of insulation and directly below laminate or suitable engineered or solid wood floors. Please note you cannot install any type of tile, stone, carpet or vinyl flooring directly onto these heating mats. They are specifically designed to be used with floated wooden floors. This means you cannot use any tile adhesives or leveling compounds or wood glues of any kind. Always make sure the floor coverings are suitable for use with underfloor heating. Lay the laminate flooring taking extra care not to damage the aluminium heating mat. Do not store tools or other heavy items on top of the heating mat as you work as this can damage the system. Don't forget to fill in your warranty online and additional information can be found on our website or by calling our technical support team on 01268 567 019.